I've entered this race in six months time from the start of November. It is a hundred kilometer and it is the Ultra Trail Drakensberg hundred kilometer. Hey what's up guys, so it has been a while, I went on a really rad run yesterday with a group of guys that are planning to do 13 peaks. If you guys haven't checked out 13 peaks, then I will link the website down below. It's here in Cape Town, South Africa, Ryan Sanders created it. Um, he did it with a bunch of his mates I think, and he's got a whole website around it, it's really really interesting. If you guys have done it, please comment down below, let me know how it was. You get a, the basic principles of it, and you can obviously read on the website. There are 13 peaks around Cape Town here. You tag each peak, and you obviously have a GPX file, but the route varies, so there's no set sort of race route that everyone does. You just gotta try and do it in whatever time limit you've kind of set yourself. So the one badge you get or finishes medal or whatever is a 24 hour one, then there's a multi-day one, and then I think there's a 48 hour one. So. These guys are all planning on doing it in 24 hours. They asked me on a WhatsApp group if I wanted to join them. I met two of them actually at the 65K Ultra Trail last year. And yeah, that's where it comes down to, to that. They're doing it next month. And now, as you guys have seen in the channel, I obviously had the foot injury, so I was out of training. I did that rehab, the Road to Recovery series, which I've kind of carried on with, but I don't think I've done more than about 1,000, 1,500 meters of elevation this year so far. So because of Corona, we obviously had lockdown worldwide, but here in Cape Town, I spent most of the time doing gym workouts downstairs or stuff in my driveway, and I just haven't really gotten back into it. Now, when I set goals for myself, I try and make sure that the one thing they are is realistic. So. I kind of got sucked into to perhaps looking at this and being like, wow, well, maybe I can do it. Maybe it's like it's 6,000 meters of elevation. It's 108 or 110 Ks or something like that. I somehow thought, and I even said to the guys, I was like 80, 20 kind of thinking about doing it, but I somehow thought I could actually do it. And thankfully, I decided to join them for the recce yesterday and do this run. Now I'll show you guys, let me just pull it up here and I'll see. If you haven't got me on Strava, just the link is in the description, add me on Strava, and then I can see your guys' runs and all that stuff, and you can see mine, vice versa, so it is pretty cool. Here you are, the most recent trail run from Sunday is the one I did with this group, it's 29 Ks, 2,000 meters of elevation, and it was a couple of the peaks in the challenge, and it was absolutely brutal, like, Full on pain cave, just didn't know how I'd finish, wasn't sure if I would actually get off the mountain on my own two legs at some point, but thankfully managed to get down to Silvermine and my wife picked me up from there. It was, yeah, it was, it was an amazing run. It was lovely seeing places in Cape Town that I've never ever run before. And I'll put up some photos, but unfortunately it was super misty, so we couldn't really take many photos or do any filming or something up at the top of the peaks. But uh, just, just the most amazing weather to run in, the most amazing day, a really rad crowd of guys. And um, yeah, as I say, I wish I could have done it next month, but being re realistic with myself, I'm gonna revert a little bit, at least in my mind, and stick to the plan that I had, which was the same in the last video. I've entered this race in six months time from the start of November. It is 100 kilometer, and it is the Ultra Trail Drakensberg 100 kilometer. So I don't know if you can tell via video, because it's normally like dumbed down a bit, but I am super excited for this race. I was born in Cape Town, I grew up here in Cape Town, and although I've traveled a lot around South Africa, I've never been to the Drakensberg Mountains, so apparently the terrain is different, the mountains are massive, like, it's gonna be such a rad experience because it's so totally different. It's, it's the equivalent of me traveling to England or America or Australia or somewhere else, which I plan to do eventually, to do races and stuff and try different events that side. But yeah, so this is basically, I'm gonna get a flight from Cape Town here to Durban and drive, get a rental car from Durban, drive there to the race, stay in the, I think there's a, a little hotel or accommodation around there that I'm gonna get. But I'm gonna go through the whole process with you. So like the Road to Ultra, the Ultra Trail Cape Town videos and stuff, this is six months from the beginning of November and I'm gonna take you guys on this whole journey. So I'll make a separate playlist 
I'll show you guys the, the stuff I go with choosing nutrition, the stuff I go with getting back into running because I certainly am nowhere near the level of running I even was for the 65. Um, so getting back into running, incorporating a lot more strength training, a lot more hill training, getting that elevation up. Um, I'm going to go around Cape Town here and scout out a few spots soon. I'll take you guys sort of vlog style on that and I'll show you there's stairs in Cork Bay and there are a few routes up. Um, obviously Plutter Clip, you've seen me do that in older videos if you haven't checked them out. But I did relays up Plutter Clip. Just, just certain little routes that I can get some more elevation in like a, a shorter time period. So that's my plan, that's what I'm thinking. I'm really, really excited for this race. It's gonna be awesome. This is the first time I was even saying to the guys yesterday, I've run in the night, I've run really early mornings, like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning starts with a headlamp and stuff in winter. So I kind of have a few hours under my belt of night running, but it is daunting firstly, totally different to what I've ever done. It's gonna be different terrain, a different crowd of people up there. Um, no one I know is actually doing it, so it's going to be quite a lot of fun. I'm quite excited to do it. Um, I'm the type of person, although I set realistic goals, I do like change, I do like a bit of a challenge. So I think that just wrapped up in a bundle is going to be is quite an epic adventure. So I hope you guys are stoked to kind of travel along with me and do this. Uh, please subscribe down below, it really helps the channel, it helps obviously me see who's interested in the stuff. I appreciate all the comments, especially comments recently, recently on gear and stuff like that. Um, I will be going over gear that I accumulate over the next six months for the race, the type of shoes, whether I'm going to change shoes halfway, what I'm going to leave in the bag halfway, all that sort of stuff I'm going to go through. So I'm super excited about that. I do try make this channel a little, little bit um, not focused on sort of gear, although my gear review videos do do the best, so I will be doing more of those. I just think as long as you've got a pair of running shoes and you can get out there and do runs wherever you live locally, it's such an awesome sport because you can actually do that. You don't need to, like when I was tra uh, doing the, the 70.3 Ironman, you don't need a bike and uh, shoes and a wetsuit and all sorts of gear and all that sort of stuff. It's not really about the gear and I think a lot of people get wrapped up in getting the best gear or how the gear is going to help them perform in the event and while it certainly does to a certain aspect I think with me I'm doing these races for fun and I don't want to focus on the gear all the time and kind of lose that sense of adventure and excitement around actually being able to to physically go and do them I think that's a blessing in itself and um, yeah I think that's pretty much how I want my channel to be for now so yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video and I hope you guys subscribe so you can kind of carry on seeing the rest of the stuff that's coming up I just wanted to log on I haven't been on in a while and this year I'm sure for everyone has been absolutely crazy it's just worldwide lockdown England's going back into lockdown um, here in South Africa it's all right but we are still wearing our masks and all that stuff all the time we're still taking precautions and hopefully we're not kind of lagging behind the rest of the world where they're going into the second phase and we're going to go back in too because the beginning of the year with lockdown as I say this is the reason why I'm, I'm not able to do the 13 peaks challenge is because I've just basically lost most of my training um, due to the fact that I was training here and I was doing in the gym but I was doing a little bit more weightlifting and that's just not really not really what I would have wanted to be doing had I known that a race was coming up this early so yeah hopefully we can get back to it and as a channel and as my subscribers hope you have a really really good um, rest of the week it is Monday today and look after your family stay safe run hard and I'll catch you guys next week cheers